Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of The Checkup, and I have a special guest with me, Marissa Roy. That's how you pronounce your last name, right? Yeah! Right. I never actually said it out loud, so I was like, I really hope that's how you say your last name. On this week's episode, we're talking about five things you should be doing after you have sex. Marissa is, how would you describe yourself? She's a makeup artist, a makeup artist. vlogger. Yep. You are Elle Canada's makeup vlogger. I was. We just did a YouTube video on her channel. You look great. So make sure you go check out her YouTube and subscribe. And this is the first time I'm talking about sex publicly, <laughs> yeah. so let's do this. Yeah. A lot of people talk about before sex, how to have safe sex, use condoms. Right? I don't know if you're prepared. Or, you know, what do herpes look like? Or make sure that you're not putting something in your mouth that's infected. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. You need to watch that Gross. video. Yeah. <laughs> but not a lot of people talk about what you should be doing after sex. Number one, go pee. It's literally the most important thing that I do? need to stress. Okay. If you're tired, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it's super cuddly, I don't, I don't care. Go pee. Yeah, because there can be E. coli and other bacteria that can get up in there during all of that rough and tumble of sex. What? Yeah, so you can get UTI, and so by clearing that and streaming it and peeing it out, it prevents those complications. Yeah. Number two on our list is to make sure that you clean with soap. I feel like after sex, all you want to do is pass out and like go to bed. It's along the same lines as going pee. You just want to clean everything using soap, not just like splashing yourself with water because if you did contract anything or there was anything transferred, again, you're just cleaning it out and away the bacteria and this can also help prevent yeast infections. Take that to the bank and sell it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Number three on our list is oral hygiene. Because like you're putting things in your mouth, yep, there's fluids, there's God knows what. And so the least you could do for yourself is get up, either rinse your mouth out with water or use mouthwash. Pretty simple again. Yeah, yeah. I mean you should, if it's at night, be brushing your teeth anyway before you go to bed. Okay. Number four on our list isn't as obvious and this is more for like your psychosocial well-being. Mm -hmm. I like to tell people to take a moment after you have sex to talk to your sexual partner about what just happened. Because oftentimes when we engage with someone sexually, both people have certain likes and dislikes and there's going to be not a lot of honesty that happens. And so you want to talk to your sexual partner about the things that you liked, what they did that really got you off, um, you know, if you were able to orgasm, were you faking it? I mean, you can oh, fake it, but then you should, let them know. Yeah, you should let them know after. Yeah, that's always kind of awkward. Everyone's trying to play it cool, you know what yeah. I mean? Always, and that's why people don't have proper conversations even before sex, but mostly also after sex. Yeah. And it's, it's just important for like any type of relationship that you're trying to build with this person. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be super awkward. Like, it no. can be done in a sexy way. Like, yeah. I really liked what you did with my fist. You know yeah. what I mean? I really loved when you sucked on my big toe, Marissa. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. No one's going near my toes, they're way too ticklish. The last one on our list, because hopefully everyone up there is practicing safe sex, and an important thing for you to do is to check that anything you were using for safe sex is still intact and actually worked. So a perfect example is if you were using condoms, you know, most guys may just take off the condom and throw it out, but you want to check that condom to make sure there was no breaks, there was no leakage. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's not <laughs> inside of you somewhere. Because it happens. That does happen. And it freaks people out. <laughs> yeah. Just um, so you know, there's no upward trajectory. It, it will only just come out. Yeah. <laughs> will it go into my intestine? <laughs> no. But you don't want it lost up there. Um, so yeah, that's five things that you can do after sex to make sure that you stay safe and healthy. That sounds good. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on my channel. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so make sure to check out Marissa's YouTube page. All of the information will be in the description box below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave us comments. Let us know what you liked, didn't like. And we will see you next week on The Checkup. Bye. Bye.